What's up guys, Artilla Boy here. Today we're doing another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the UCP Survival Knife. Let's begin. So, the sheath wise out there is basically a, well, pretty generic nylon sheath. Basically a belt, a nylon belt loop for your belt up there. A snap-on button to secure the knife entirely of basically sewn into sewn on there but uh there's something a little weird on this one it's a little uh the hole's a little bigger up there well you'll see why with it the knife itself have this very weird ucp pattern just i don't know it's uh kind of weird it's like you're just seeing the here, maybe seeing the background or something as like a backdrop backdrop out there but no this is just a kind of bit of a weird looking UCP pattern out there you can see some textures out there there's a a hole in there and uh, the blade itself is double edged which you can see right here um, kind of like one of those Fair Sykes fighting knives out there, but uh, you're going to see a really bigger disappointment seeing this as you're basically being forced to go to the anime convention out there. Which, uh, yep, dealing with we the basically going to be acting the basically the filthy Frank show out there. But uh, seriated edge on this one, and here's the disappointment out there. You want to see it? You get these whole details on that, like the, see the blade and everything. And when you see this, yeah. And it is not even, that's how very awkward it is. Like, it's actually, like, pointing upwards, like a, it's like a shovel or something. And, uh, the material on this is, well, you can all know, 440 stainless steel. Yep, that's what you got out that thing. So, let's see. Okay, let's... See. Okay, size on the knife out there. Basically, five and a half... Basically, five and a half inches. Meanwhile, for the handle, it's like, basic... Almost of four inches. The overall size is actually almost nine inches. And let's go see the, uh... And inside the, as you can definitely know, it's inside here. Inside here, you'll definitely see like uh, the tang is probably this this how long it is. Let's go see what's inside here. Oh, oh there's a a little baggie out there. A little. Let's go see fishing lure matches. Something the little red part for the matches out there, and a sewing kit, a hook, and of course, weight ball on there. A couple of weight ball on there, and this little plastic, basically little plastic container out there. So that's pretty not bad about that one out there. Not bad out there, but. Uh, Here's the little compass out there, like every single, you know, survival knife out there, which is not bad. I'd wish they could basically put more effort on the blade, like actually putting a, not be looking like a confusing shovel out there. So, let's go test this guy out.
Well, that was a little disappointing. Yes, that's, uh... Look at that. Yeah. Oop. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, man, this, uh... I gotta say to myself, this was a little awkward out that one. So I'm giving the rate I'm getting the final verdict of the the UCP survival knife. A uh oh boy. Basically a four out of ten. Yes, it's not a good knife. It's basically gonna be very on par with the on a particular piece, you know what I'm talking about, the mill spec, the mill spec neck knife out there. It's an, yeah, it's not a great knife out there, but I do have some credits. I do say some credits where it's due, like a little capsule for you to put the stuff in there. But things like, you know, having the blade actually have like detail on one side and then there's nothing on that side basically just an awkward shovel well with an edge out there well the cold seal special force shovel actually has an it actually does have its details out there i don't know that wraps up of the i wouldn't uh i would not recommend this piece out there so that wraps up of the U at UCP survival knife. I'm Otil Boy, and I'm signing out. Hope I'll see you guys next time.